Hey everyone, Drew here, and as you know, my Fit to Fat to 40 journey is coming to an end as far as the weight gain process goes, and I'm really, really looking forward to doing the journey back to fit with you all. Really quickly, my birthday is on December 27th, which is my 40th birthday, and that's when my official weight gain process ends, but the journey back to fit doesn't start until January 4th. So what are we gonna do during that week? What's gonna happen that week? I call that week a mental preparation week. So I'm gonna go over a list of things that I'm gonna be doing that you can join with me in, uh, in that week. And I'm gonna explain why I'm doing those things and why it's so important to do these, these both mental and emotional and physical things uh, to help us prep our bodies and our minds for the journey back to fit. So what that week is gonna consist of is, is a few different things. I'm not gonna be exercising yet. I'm not gonna be changing my diet, okay? But there are some simple small things I'm gonna be including into my daily routine uh, that won't take up too much time, but if you want to join me, it's uh, I would love for you guys to prepare your minds and your bodies uh, like I'm going to be doing. So a couple of things that are physical that we'll be doing is I will be walking every day. I'm just going to go for a walk, okay? Not a jog, not a sprint, not structured workout, just walk. 20, 30 minutes a day, put in some, uh, you know, a, a book on, on tape. Not you know, Do people still say that anymore? <laughs> An audio, audio book or a podcast of some type. And I'm just gonna go for a 20, 30 minute walk just to get my body moving. So the other thing I'll be doing is doing daily stretches twice a day. So now these stretches will take about five minutes to do uh, each time. So doing it in the morning and the evening would be ideal because the stretching is gonna really loosen up things that have become really tight for me. When you're sedentary, you sit down a lot, your hips tighten up, your lower back tightens up, your hamstrings tighten up, which can lead to an injury when we start exercising. So doing these stretches twice a day uh, for about five minutes at a time, I'll explain the whole um, sequence for you in an email uh, so you can do them along with me. Uh, those will really help prepare my body for the workouts that will be coming on January 4th. Other things that we'll be doing uh, include making our bed first thing in the morning. So. And that's not going to get you a six pack, but the reason for doing it is it shows yourself that you can do something that's small to stay disciplined in that one thing, and that'll carry over to more discipline throughout the day. So making your bed right when you get out of bed, first thing in the morning, just make it. And that's just one small little thing that can be hard for some people because we get lazy. Just do that one simple small thing to start your day off right. The second thing is we'll also be doing a taking a cold shower. Now, what I do is I get into the shower with warm water first, and then I transition to cold water at the end for minimum 60 seconds. If you wanna go more, you can go more. There's a lot of scientific research done on cold water therapy, helps to uh, activate the brown fat cells in our body, which help us in turn burn more fat, it increases our immune system, and it's a huge mental wake up because it's something that's really hard to do. No one likes cold showers, but I promise you, the whole idea of this, of this uh, mental preparation week is to prepare your mind to do hard things. And if you could take a cold shower, which is a hard thing, you can do other hard things. So we're gonna do this together. It's only 60 seconds. We'll get through it together, I promise. Other things include meditation, five to 10 minutes a day. I'll be using apps like Headspace or Calm or just type in guided meditation on YouTube. Five to 10 minutes to help get our brains to calm down for a second and become the observer of our thoughts instead of attaching ourselves to our thoughts. So meditation is a huge component of this journey back to fit but it's, because it's gonna help you with the mental game um, come January 4th. Uh, one other thing that we'll be doing is also positive affirmations. Saying five things about yourself to yourself in the mirror that maybe you don't believe just yet but are five positive things about yourself, okay? Next up is a gratitude list. Five things daily of things you're grateful for. And what this is gonna do is rewire your brain to look for things to be grateful for throughout the day. So it's gonna help your brain literally look for things that make you happy. And when your brain is searching for things throughout the day that you're grateful for, it brings more fulfillment into your life. So that's it, you guys. Those are the list of things we'll be doing during this mental preparation week. It's gonna be really important that you do these things along with me so that come January 4th, that transition is a little bit easier so make sure and try and do these things as, uh, you know, as much as you can. You don't have to be perfect in it, okay? It's just something I'm going to be doing uh, to help my mind and my body be prepared for January 4th. So if you haven't signed up yet for my journey back to fit, make sure and go to fit2fat2fit.com forward slash back to fit to sign up today.